when it's not supposed to do that. Hi, this is Jim Humphrey with Imminent Threat Defense Firearms Training. Let's have a look at this western field. This uh, 70-something Western Field 16-gauge pump shotgun is not operating correctly. The action uh, will not lock up. You pump it, and it just keeps pumping. That shouldn't do that. This gun is identical to the Mossberg 500. It was made for Montgomery Wards. I notice the trigger housing is uh, standing a little proud here, uh, and clearly something's gotten loose inside. So let's pull the trigger housing out and have a closer look at it. When I remove the trigger housing, I notice this little piece of plastic fell out. That's never a good sign. And it looks like it comes from the corner of this uh, trigger housing right up here. It fell right out and the other side's chipped off too. So these are the lugs that hold the front of the trigger housing in the receiver. So there's two grooves in the receiver on the left and right that accept that trigger housing. So this trigger housing is shot. The problem is this is a 1970s vintage gun and there were three generations of these trigger housings. This is a first gen pre-1980. Plus this is a 16 gauge. But fortunately the 16 gauge housing and the 12 gauge housing are the same even though the receivers are different. The manufacturer doesn't support it anymore. Uh, even their sub-supplier doesn't. Uh, there's two fixes for this. One, I found a guy down in Texas who would rebuild it using a new gen housing and the parts off of my housing. There's also a kit available online to replace those lugs with a piece of steel. Uh, the rebuild option looked uh, a little bit easier for me, so that's the way I went and got this gun back up and running. So, if you're having trouble with the action, it could be these lugs. Check that out. Thanks for watching. I'm Jim Humphrey with Imminent Threat Defense Firearms Training. Stay safe out there.